In step with the ever-increasing standard of excellence in military technology the world over, the SARP testbed was developed and built in 1987 and 88. This was done to demonstrate not only the current technological advances in armoured structures, but to test the suitability of the running gear to the harsh South African environment, and to gauge the performance of an 810 kilowatt water-cooled power pack. The results were gratifying. The SARP testbed proved itself in every test. Crossing a ditch of three meters, accelerating from naught to 30 kilometers per hour in 7.4 seconds within 38 meters. Stable traveling on high sine waves and over the suspension track at 50 kilometers per hour and moving safely and quickly over virtually any terrain. In every way, the Saab testbed proved a worthy predecessor for a new weapon platform technology demonstrator that is second to none. This new low-profile vehicle contains the integrated capability of the latest technology in the various subsystems available. It has a power-to-mass ratio of 15.8 kilowatts per tonne, a notable improvement on Saab. Years of painstaking development and many well-spent man-hours have culminated in its design and procurement, which by July 1991 had reached an advanced state. The hull structure, with an integrated armor packet with a depth of 750 millimeters, has been machined, and assembly of the various subsystems and their final integration is well underway. The power pack comprises a V8 turbocharged diesel engine and a four-speed cross-drive automatic transmission similar to the one in the Saab power pack shown here. The engine, a commercial design, has been upgraded for military application and has a gross output of 920 kilowatts. The engine is presently being assembled. It is water-cooled and capable of operating in an ambient temperature of 48 degrees centigrade and extensive testing has been conducted. The locally designed final drives are in the process of fabrication and are based on a similar planetary gear layout to that shown here. The running gear is a torsion bar type with seven road wheel stations per side, with a total road wheel travel of 500 millimeters. The live outside driven track is equipped with rubber pads exerting a ground pressure of 0.93 kilograms per square centimeter. Virtually everything relating to the following has been procured the driver's compartment, equipment and accessories. The electrical system. The optical cleaning system and other survival features. The Weapon Platform Technology Demonstrator is on the verge of proving the full potential of the individual subsystems, as well as the totally integrated vehicle, whilst achieving yet another first for South African technological excellence.